Today on Papa's Project, we have both the upstairs three and a half ton main air conditioner heat pump and the four ton downstairs air conditioning heat pump. They are running both of those. And I think we only have like 40 to 250 watt panels on that. We are pulling in eight, 79 amp. 3.83 kilowatts in 48 volts on our battery bank it's going up to 48 to 49 and we are pulling in or we're using 5.8 kilowatts of power for those two air conditioners running at the same time drawing 40 amps out of our battery but we have two battery banks. We have this AGM, the gray batteries there, and those AGMs, both 48 volt batteries. And now we're starting to go down a little bit, 46.4. But it keeps going up and down, up and down. And then on top of that, we're running this air conditioner off of this batteries at 52.8 and we're bringing in 102 volts 790 740 watts right there and then 97 volts on the other array at 946 and okay we just started that up and it dropped from 56.6 down to 51 to 50.3 50.2 51 so it's dropping down but it started that second one there was a little bit of a shaking little noise went eh, for probably one to two seconds but we're running that both of those and it's keeping it right around 50 50.1 volts right now we have both our three and a half ton and our four ton connected. And you were able to see the draw on that. Pulling in 79 amps, 3.95 kilowatts coming in. Battery's at 49.3 now, 49.4. So down here, we're at a, uh, our load, we're using 40 amps out of our battery right now. And we're at 5.89, almost six kilowatts between those two air conditioners that we're using. And it's about 50% of the 12,000. So that's right, pretty close to it. So like I said, if I added 42, if I have another 18, 20 panels, I should be able to keep this fully charged up around 54 to 56 volts. And if I were to turn one of these off, it would it would go right up to 56, 57. But you can see with just 42 panels on here, we're able to run that. And that's off of those AGMs that we're doing, that two um, battery banks. So right now, it's 11.30 in the morning. It's 95 degrees out. We live in Phoenix where your garage is usually the outside temperature. We're at uh, about 74 degrees in here, nice and cool got our inverters over here stand charged 24 volt inverters and pulling in seven amps on that one but 29 points or 26.9 there 26.7 there we're full charged on this and you know what <laughs> these are just walmart deep cycle batteries 12 volt 
I've got two there, two down there. Those have lasted me over two years, but I don't drain those below 12 volts. So, if you like, please share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and like it if you like it. I hope you have a truly wonderful and blessed day and come back and see us as we keep tweaking this almost 24,000 watt, 24 kilowatt system with almost 24 watts, 24,000 watts in panels and 24 kilowatt of battery between all those systems. Have a blessed day. We'll see you soon. And if we go back here and drop it down to just the three and a half ton running, we are keeping our battery at 56 volts. Hundred and fifteen to 119 volts coming in on the two different solar arrays. 65 amps coming in. They were at 3.65 kilowatts coming in. Now we're almost up to 60 volts. And our load on here is a 21, 22% load, 2.6 kilowatts for that. So 2,600 watts to run that three and a half ton AC. We'll go take a look. So out here, that is the three and a half ton running right now. And that was with the four ton running at seven and a half tons on that. 12 kilowatt low frequency off-grid inverter it'll start up and run both of those but right now I think I said I only have 42 250 watt used poly panels on this so if I put probably 60 on there I would probably be able to keep charging that battery full at like 54, 56 volts and be able to run both air conditioning at the same time. You can see the upstairs right there. It's a good size upstairs and it's uh, 2,450 square feet and the garage is another 650 square feet. So it's over 3,000 square feet that we're cooling here and right now it is close to about 95 degrees got the pool heated nice and cool we have 95 degrees outside we have our downstairs at 70 and let's see what our upstairs is at. And this is all off of solar. We're not running this off of the grid at all. So we also have the upstairs at 70 degrees. We have the thermostat set at 67. That'll get there in about a half hour to 45 minutes. So keeping the house at 70 degrees which most people keep it around 78. If I had it at 78 degrees, I'd be able to run both of them at 42 panels. But I uh, want to be able to keep it colder than that. And we're also doing our laundry on this one. That's a heat pump dryer drawing out about 1,800 amps. And then this is on right now running that 18,000 BTU, 230 volt mini split. It's keeping the garage nice and cool. We're at uh, 
right around 72 degrees in the garage when it's 95 degrees out. So now we're up to 56.7 volts running just that one three and a half ton with 70 amps coming in on those 42 panels almost four kilowatts coming in on those panels and we're only running a 21.8 22 percent load 2.51 kilowatts coming in or using 2.51 so 2500 watts to run that main upstairs whole house air conditioner it's a heat pump that surges like crazy to start up. This is the boy you want to get right here. The Grow Watt 12 kilowatt low frequency off grid inverter. And I was able to start both of those. When I had 48 panels, I was able to start both of them with just that one battery bank of 48 volts. And it's nice having that second one on there because we just added this uh, 51.2 volt, 100 amp hour, 5120 watt hour uh, lithium ion phosphate to our battery bank that we have. Now we have, right there you can see we're 100% charged while we're running this air conditioner and running this heat pump dryer we were running the washer the thing will use like about 1400 watts on highest spin to dry out your clothes <laughs> it's a lot of lots for a washer uh in that spin cycle so we have these two connected to panels we have this um, 48 volt 6500 watt connected to panels 5000 watt MPP connected panels and also this grow watt between all of these we have 23,750 watts in panels 95 250 watt used solar panels that we only paid 30 to 38 dollars for and that's why we have so many inverters because we have so many panels there. we want to be able to completely run everything we're averaging 12 to 14 kilowatts of grid power a day that's it and that's using the stove in the oven in the kitchen um 75 inch tv that really uses quite a bit of watts <laughs> and lights and everything else taking showers, using a blow dryer. I mean, we're only using 12 to 14 a day. And if we didn't have the solar, we'd probably be using 80 to 100 a day. So it's saving us a considerable amount of money. Now we are up to this uh, battery bank of 56.8. I'm gonna pause it real quick and try and start up that main air conditioner and see if we can catch the draw of the current that it needs and voltage to start that thing up. Be back in just one second. 